Otago Bell Police Department. Uh, I believe we're talking about puffing today. The reason we have an uh, issue with puffing is additional crimes are committed with cars that are stolen in puffing. And it's an additional crime that shouldn't be happening with the simple fact of not leaving your vehicle running and unattended. But basically warming up your car, leaving it running and attended, that, that's what puffing is. So it's getting a little bit better than it was in the past. Um, the only thing is, you know, if we have zero, that's the best number we can get. Uh, it's a thing with the public. I think public awareness and people not doing it have helped us reduce those numbers immensely. Um, and that's what we're striving for. So we kind of like put out those periodic messages and then with our media partners, you know, bringing awareness to the issue that helps us too. So, so with zero reports and, and that's pretty good because there were some days in October that were very cold. And that seems like there our worst time for puffers is people warming up their cars uh, and people taking them on cold days. So that's a significant thing for us. The Denver Police Department does what we do and they, you know, they, they mention their, st their stats were puffers because they're trying to reduce their puffers too. The vast majority that we have, um, they're used in other crimes. Uh, there's other times where they just use it for joyriding. They're, they're walking, it's cold, they get a nice warm car and drive it till they run out of gas and then just leave it wherever. Um, we have a good uh, clearance rate of recovering stolen vehicles and I think that's due to the circumstances of them being stolen. It's for joyriding or committing other crimes and then just abandoning the vehicles. Uh, at one time we had a problem with uh, chop shops, uh, but our property detectives have done a really good job of busting up some of those chop shops. So at this point in time, it's more joyriding and committing other crimes with the vehicles than anything. Well, they could face a, a ticket. We try to avoid that. We try to do things with education. Yeah, it's one of those comfort versus security things. And sometimes when you have comfort, you don't have security. And when you have security, you don't have comfort. Um, Ideally, you know, you would have a garage, it, you, know, you know, your vehicle won't be cold, but I mean, not everybody has a garage, not everybody, you know, has that situation, but, uh, you know, it's a choice. You want to have security or do you want to have comfort?